course, we continue to closely monitor the tropics. After all, October tends to be a very active month from the Caribbean through the Gulf of Mexico and especially across the Atlantic. And new tonight, Justin from the National Hurricane Center. Kirk is officially a Category 1 hurricane, but in my opinion, it's the best kind because it will not be threatening land. We'll take a look at that forecast track here momentarily. First, though, let's talk about what everyone is talking about. So basically, we have what is expected to be a fairly disorganized area of low pressure right here moving into the northwestern Caribbean over the next seven days and eventually entering the Gulf of Mexico. As of now, though, it's expected to stay just that disorganized. So for us, yes, it could ramp up our rain chances next week. But as of now, we don't foresee the wind or the storm surge threat. Of course, we'll continue to monitor this very closely, but please be extremely weary of anything that you might see online. And then, of course, we have Kirk. As of 5 o'clock, sustained wind 75 miles per hour, gust up to 90, expected to become a major hurricane by Thursday. But again, over the open waters, well to the east of Bermuda, as of now, not a threat to any land mast whatsoever as it continues to strengthen there over those open waters. And this wave here to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands likely to become Leslie also over the open waters here here in the next day or so. We'll talk more about that and what to expect for our weather here at home coming up next.